LP WAN is a category of uh, network communication technologies which has long range communication capabilities, low bandwidth, low power, uh, deep indoor penetration and very cheap uh, radio modules. Uh, they are used in a wide range of domains uh, ranging from agriculture, consumer infrastructure, transportation, smart cities, industrial, even in uh, remote areas like jungles or rural mountains. Uh, there are a few different uh, implementations. Uh, LoRaWAN, Sigfox, uh, NB-IoT is the uh, primary ones. Then there are uh, other uh, providers as well. There are three main characteristics that makes uh, LoRaWAN uh, very attractive. Uh, one is uh, long range. The other one is low power. The other one is low cost. So when you come to range, uh, LoRaWAN can uh, communicate a uh, few kilometers in urban areas and up to 10 kilometers in rural settings. So if you have a city with uh, some hills nearby, if you put the uh, LoRa uh, antennas on the hill, it could uh, cover the uh, entire city. Uh, sometimes if you have like hierarchy buildings, uh, then it will obstruct the uh, signal, but it can penetrate a large uh, range. Uh, so depending on the uh, implementation and the manufacturer, uh, you can see some people claim like 40 kilometers or 30 kilometers. So these are kind of uh, figures actually uh, varies because of the uh, obstruction. And for example, if you have like uh, uh, thick jungles, uh, then it's difficult to penetrate even like one kilometer. Uh, but again, uh, when you compare the other technologies, this is the one that you can go for the uh, longest range. Uh, and it is low power, uh, it is very uh, cheap. Uh, you can uh, battery power it for many years because it will usually uh, send a, a packet all day per each day. LoRaWAN has been uh, used, for, uh, used for triangulation as well. Uh, if you have multiple LoRaWAN antennas, you can do uh, triangulation if the triangulation is not required like exact uh, location, but a uh, few meters apart. Uh, you can do that. And LoRa protocol also work point to point, uh, like two devices communicate with each other, as well as uh, more like a, a tree structure, where you have the gateway and multiple uh, individual microcontrollers are connected to, through to the gateway using a LoRa shield. LoRa technology is uh, useful uh, when you are de deploying uh, sensors in areas that you don't want to replace battery often, at the same time, uh, it is inaccessible, so uh, you don't want to uh, put any other uh, wireless technology around there. So smart metering is one example. You can cover a part of a city uh, and get access uh, data from uh, smart meters. Air quality monitoring, uh, smart lighting, uh, asset tracking, uh, not real time, but you can find uh, where the asset is located. If it's very large uh, factory or multiple factories close by or multiple buildings within the uh, same premises. Uh, then uh, water tank monitoring, uh, waste management. So any kind of uh, monitoring task, which does not require a few uh, other than few packets uh, each day, uh, then you can use uh, LoRa. LoRaWAN is a protocol specification built on top of the uh, LoRa technology uh, developed by LoRa Alliance. So Alliance has a large number of uh, global companies working together uh, to develop and promote the uh, technology. LoRa is uh, optimized for low power consumption and it has a typical data rate of 0 0.3 kilobits per second to 50 kilobits per second. Uh, it has a physical layer uh, or the uh, wireless modulation utilized to create uh, long distance uh, communication links. Both uh, public and private networks are using this uh, technology to cover the uh, large uh, areas. Uh, the area that could cover from a LoRa tower uh, could be uh, larger than a cellular network sometimes. Uh, LoRa operates on a license free ISM band uh, 433, uh, 868, and 915 megahertz. 
uh, one thing you need to uh, remember is that each uh, region in the world uh, use uh, different uh, band, uh, bands uh, therefore uh, some of the bands you use in uh, if you are using a LoRa uh, sensor in UK you cannot uh, use it in Malaysia or Australia or China uh, you need to check uh, what is the band uh, allowed in that particular country to operate uh, LoRa. Uh, LoRa has a regulated uh, power duty cycle and uh, bandwidth. We have seen that uh, companies and uh, hobbyists uh, increasingly deploy uh, LoRa networks and make it available for other people to use as well. This is the uh, layered architecture for LoRa. What is uh, important to note that uh, there are three different classes of devices when it comes to LoRa, uh, class A, B, and C. Uh, a is battery-powered devices, uh, bidirectional communication. Uh, B is uh, battery-powered devices, uh, bidirectional communication with uh, extra uh, receiving windows. The C is uh, main power devices. So if you are thinking that uh, LoRa would be a good fit for your IoT system, uh, you need to make sure to go and read these uh, specifications and pick the one that uh, more suitable for your uh, application domain. Uh, two of the classes are battery dependent, the other one is uh, main power devices. Most of the time uh, we talk about a star structure uh, topology when you're talking about LoRa, uh, but it is possible to do point-to-point -point, uh, LoRa communication. As I explained before, the most widely used uh, LoRa topology is a star topology. Uh, as you can see from the architecture diagram, uh, end nodes uh, directly communicate with the LoRa gateway, and then the LoRa gateway you will use a 3G or Ethernet backhaul to uh, connect it to the cloud and push the data to the cloud. A star topology helps to uh, preserve a battery life. Uh, gateway is the one that who requests data uh, in a synchronized uh, using a synchronized clock. It gives all the uh, devices connected to it uh, the equal opportunity to send the data. The number of packets a LoRa gateway can uh, support uh, based on, uh, depend on the uh, specification. For instance, if there are eight channel gateways supporting uh, 1.5 uh, million packets per day, uh, if the application sends one packet per hour. Uh, then more than uh, 60,000, uh, 62,000 nodes uh, can be handled by that gateway. To understand the applications of uh, LoRa technology better, uh, please go and uh, watch the video I have put here. As I mentioned before, uh, di different uh, geographical regions use uh, different frequency bands. So for Europe, uh, it's uh, 863, uh, USA, 902, uh, Australia 915, uh, China uh, 779 uh, or 470. If you are developing an IO system that you aim to uh, sell to other people from other countries as a product, uh, you need to make sure that when you are shipping, you are shipping the right uh, modules, uh, which compatible with the uh, that particular country's uh, LoRa ban uh, band. I have put another video uh, to explain the uh, application of LoRaWAN uh, here. Uh, please go and uh, watch that now.